and welcome to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Monica and I have the cutest cup of espresso going on. This is a little espresso cup that my parents got me from Italy. So that's really cool. By the way, this Nespresso pod, if you have an Espresso Virtuo, is called like Il Cafe or something. It's the best for like just straight up espresso. So I've got an espresso and we're back with an empties video today. This is what we're working with and there is a lot to cover here as usual. So what I'm gonna do first is section all of the stuff out that I have here like I always do and then we're gonna get started. We have quite a lot here and I'm excited because to be honest I've been hoarding this stuff for a while now and I've just been waiting to talk about it and do an empties video so I can get rid of all the trash. <laughs> so let me go ahead and section all this stuff out and then we're gonna get started. All right, so I got everything sectioned off. We have a lot to work through here. We have an absolute ton of candles, so I'll be talking about those at the end like I normally do. Uh, we're gonna be starting off with makeup and going from there, and the first makeup product that I ran out of is the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. This is the best gripping primer on the market in all areas, drugstore, high-end, whatever. This is the best. If you haven't tried this out, you need to. It is a little expensive. It's definitely up there like in the higher end price. It's like $17, which is crazy, but it's definitely worth it and I love it. Plus, it's so pretty to look at. But if you need something to hold your makeup in place for hours, like 14, 16 hours for some reason, this is this is what you need to try. So I ran out of some foundations. The first one I ran out of is the Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint. This is not a skin tint, but this made it in my favorites of 2023 video because it is so good. Like I love this foundation like I love my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, which I don't actually have an empty of right now. That's crazy. Normally I always have one of those in my empties, but I've been using this one and another one uh, pretty exclusively besides my shop, my stash ones that I pick out. And I've slowed down on using the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. But don't you worry because the one I'm using will definitely be out by the next empties video. Not that you're concerned about that at all. But anyway, this is the best. It's actually really good for sensitive skin, which I'm surprised by because there is vitamin C in here, which can sometimes be a little harsh. I'm not a dermatologist or an esthetician, but I'm just passing on information that I've heard. But this is great. I have super sensitive skin. This is extremely full coverage. Um, I don't know how it would work on cystic acne. I imagine it would provide a decent amount of coverage there as well, at least like medium to full. It is so, so good. The dropper is actually not bad. I think I'm gonna get a pump though because if you can kind of see, it gets a little messy like around the rim and I always have to clean it up when I'm using it. But the, the dropper is actually really good. You don't need a pump to actually get like product out. This is the best of this product on the market, better than the L'Oreal one, better than all of them and it provides the most coverage. So that could be like your caveat if you're like, I don't want a skin tint that has a lot of coverage because it's a skin tint. This may not be the one for you, but if you're looking for something that provides really, really great coverage, this is definitely it and it lasts forever on your skin. Another foundation that made it into my favorites of 2023 is the Fenty Beauty Stick Ease Drop Foundation. I cannot believe how good this foundation is, especially for a stick. I feel like stick foundation has kind of been that territory of makeup that no brand has really excelled at. I know the Hourglass Ambient like stick foundation from, what is that like? Oh my God, was that like eight years ago? <laughs> anyway, um, I know that one was really popular. I never tried that one, but this one is the best. It's obviously cheaper than that one, and it really is just the best. This one, the L'Oreal Infallible and the Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint are the ones I have the hardest time like stopping myself from using because I just love them so much. I think they are so, so pretty on the skin and they last so nicely. They really look as skin-like as you can while also adding a little bit of coverage. This has a little less coverage than the Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint does off the bat, but you can build it up, no problem, and it looks beautiful. I'm wearing it today and I will forever repurchase this. So I ran out of my favorite Catrice True Skin Concealer. If you have not tried this, you have got to try it. I know there are so many like higher end concealers that have launched recently and everybody's like, these are the best. I haven't tried all of those. I'm sure they're great, but this is $7. And every time I'm not using it, I wish I were. Like the Shaw My Stash series challenges me 
to use other products but I always want to come back to this one because it truly is the best medium coverage very like you can work with it you can blend it out right away you can let it sit it is so nice on your under eyes and it's really great to spot conceal over foundation as well I also ran out of a covergirl micro brow pencil this has been my favorite brow pencil for gosh has it been eight years too 2016 2017 I think is when this came out and I've pretty much been using it exclusively since then except for the times that I've tried other ones and I always come back to this one because it is comparable to all the higher end micro brow pencils and it is a great job of just kind of filling in your brows without looking too strong and you can go really light with it you can go really like heavy with it without building up too much it's not super waxy it's got a little bit of stiffness to it but that's a good thing and I love this, and they were one of the first drugstore eyebrow pencils to actually introduce a shade soft blonde, so it's not orangey, because a lot of blonde shades are for some reason super warm. All right, so I ran out of a Milani, I almost said Maybelline, I ran out of a Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is the Jumbo. It's the best. It's like $12 or something like that. It's six ounces, and it lasts forever. It truly is the best setting spray. Hold your makeup on, and it kind of helps everything melt together, so... I mean, I haven't tried a high-end setting spray for a really long time. It's because of this one. I love this one too much to stray. However, there is a Neutrogena one out there that my friend, um, she gave to me, and it's the Neutrogena Hydrating Setting Spray, and it's really good as well. It's a little bit more hydrating, but it's really good. Okay, we need to get moving. I am taking way too long. Okay. So let's do skincare now. I ran out of some serums, of course. The May Love Moonlight Retinol Super Serum. This is the retinol serum I use on my neck, and I really, really like it. I kind of stray from it sometimes because it's not as accessible as the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol that I actually use on my face. I use both of those kind of interchangeably. It is really good. It kind of has a funny smell, and it's yellow, but I'm telling you, if you want to anti-age your neck, this is, this is the stuff. This and the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum, they're the best. All right, so I ran out of the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. This is, I talk about this in like every single empties video. This one, uh, it just kind of locks all your skincare and it's my last step at night. It's really hydrating, great for pigmentation, and I just love how it makes my skin look and feel. All right, the Necessay, the next serum. This one is, I was really impressed with. It's very moisturizing on your neck, obviously, and your, like, decollete, or I didn't, like, butcher that. Your decollete, and why did I say butcher so, like, aggressively? Anyway, um, it's really hydrating, really moisturizing, and it's a good, like, last step on your neck. I have, like, I drag all my skincare down, and sometimes I do get things exclusively for the neck, just for the heck of it. And this is a thing I would repurchase again because it really is so, so nice. So I ran out of a My Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. I talk about this every time too. It is so, so good. It's just great at preventing breakouts, treating breakouts. If you have a breakout coming on, I actually just like take a cotton pad and just hold it on there for a couple of minutes after I shower at night. And it does a great job of kind of like stopping it in its tracks. And I, I can't talk enough about this. It's actually really good if you have sensitive skin, you kind of build it up. Like I only use this once a week when I first started. Now I use it two or three times a week and it really is so great. I know a lot of people use it daily too. I don't do that because I feel like my skin would just start peeling off of my face. But it's really good at treating and preventing breakouts. And also just kind of keeping your skin clear in general. So the Eucerin Anti-Wrinkle Face Cream is another thing that was gifted to me by my friend Melissa. We love to give each other stuff like this. And I don't think we'll ever stop because it's great. But anyway, I loved this stuff. It's not quite as heavy duty as the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream, but it is really, really moisturizing and just really locks in all your skincare right before like using maybe like a rosehip seed oil like I do or whatever you do as your last step. This is so, so nice. I actually put it on my neck after I ran out of the like neck cream from, I almost said Eucerin, <laughs> from Necessay. And I really, really liked it as well. And because of that, I went ahead and repurchased this as well as the retinol version of this to use at night to see if like I can do like an all-in-one product for my neck. I'll let you know. I'll let you know when I use those or actually when I get those. I, I don't have them yet. But it is so, so nice and I definitely would repurchase it, especially for like the summertime months. If I don't need something as heavy duty as the CeraVe, this one would be great because it's just like a couple notches back from that, but it's still super moisturizing. So since we just mentioned it, I have the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream here that I also ran out of. So heavy duty, so nice, so great at keeping your skin hydrated. I really do love it and I highly recommend it to 
really anybody because it's it doesn't clog anybody's pores from what I've heard I don't have any issues with that and I have issues with that a lot because I have such sensitive acne prone skin this is great I love it so so much and if you've got dry skin in the winter this is gonna be your best friend I promise you All right, some sunscreens so I actually tried out the Wander pack up and glow priming SPF this is an SPF 40 mineral sunscreen and it's got like a tint if you can kind of see and this is just really nice. I actually am using the Kosas one right now, and I think I like that one a little bit more than this one for the winter because I have fairer skin. But when I self tan in the summer, this would be great because it does have a little bit of tint just to kind of like match your body to your face or match your face to your body. I really, really liked this, and I probably would repurchase it again, honestly, especially because it's got that little bit of tint. And like I said, if I self tan during the summer, this would kind of match that a little bit better than my like fair shade, <laughs> my natural skin color. So I tried out the Elastin Skin Care um, SPF 30 sunscreen. This is their all mineral sunscreen. I talked in the last empties video, I'm pretty sure it's what it yeah, I think it was the last empties video, the Elastin Moisturizer for the daytime, and I love that stuff. I love this stuff too. It is so beautiful on the skin. It doesn't really leave a white cast on me. I mean, I'm pretty white. Take that with a grain of salt. But um, it, it really just smooths over your skin really nicely. It goes under makeup really nicely. It's just a really nice product. It is expensive though. Elastin is a higher end brand. So I don't know if I would rush to purchase it because of that because I love the Can Make one so much. And I do really like the Wonder one, which is sort of close in price to this one. But, um, you know, I'm just trying a bunch of SPS right now. I could see myself repurchasing this, but I don't think I would go out of my way to because it is so expensive and I do like so many other SPFs, whereas the Elastin Moisturizer, I would go out of my way to spend money on it. It's $70, but it's really good. All right, so my makeup removing products, the Clean It Zero Vanilla Cleansing Balm and the La Roche Posay Micellar Water. I love these. I go in first with this to remove makeup and then go in with this second to just get make sure I got all like on the hairline and anywhere I may have missed. Before I get into the shower, I cleanse my skin a lot because I have such acne prone skin and this helps just get all the makeup off. And these two are the best. I can't, I use them so much and talk about them so much. Like this is kind of how a lot of empties videos are, but that's how you know I love a product if I'm going back to them. And these two are the best. I always get the jumbo of this and I always get this on Walmart because it's cheapest there. I just love these so much. They're great at removing makeup without stripping skin. And they just, ugh, they're so, so good. My favorite under eye patches are these from Derma E. They're the vitamin C bright patches, the hydrogel ones. These are the best. I just repurchased these after I ran out of them. Luckily they were on sale. They're like $25, but they last such a long time. They even have an expiration date. I don't know if the expiration date holds any value. They stay on your under eyes. They brighten everything up. I put them in the refrigerator and if I felt extra tired in the morning, I will just put some of these on, leave them on before or after I shower and they just kind of help waken me up. And I do feel like they kind of brighten up the area just a little bit, not a ton, just a little bit and I, I do love them so much. So I ran out of the Hero Mighty Patch Invisible Pimple Patches. These are the best. I use these anytime I feel like something's coming on or I feel like I have a sensitive area on my face that just needs to be protected. These are the best next to the Mario Badescu ones that I will usually use in the daytime because they're a lot more invisible than these. But these are great. I think these are the best in the line, even better than the original because they just stick a little bit better, if that makes any sense. If you want to stop a pimple and its tracks from like forming even more, or you want to treat a pimple that's <laughs> like an open wound pretty much, these are what you need to try. So I ran out of this Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. I love this stuff I have for years now. I always go back to it when I stray because it is so, so good. I I think they've changed the formula a little bit. It's still like the same feeling, but the smell's a little bit different than it used to be. It doesn't smell like fake lavender anymore. It just doesn't really smell like much of anything, which is fine, but it really helps keep my skin moisturized, especially in the winter because my all my skin gets so dry and parched, and this just really helps prevent it from getting like dry and peely, which is gross. But you know what I mean? It keeps it nice and moisturized. I also ran out of some deodorants, this Degree Clinical Protection and this Nessese, the deodorant gel. These are the two deodorants, I found them, that prevent smelling bad. So I am not necessarily a stinky person, but I feel like when we all sweat, we're not smelling so hot. And these two are the best at just kind of stopping you from smelling bad. This is an antiperspirant and this is not, it's just a deodorant. I did a summer vlog last year and I wore this for the first time, which was risky. And I was standing there just sweating at a winery, like full on 
dripping of sweat and I was like <sighs> I don't smell bad. <laughs> what a weird demonstration. I was like, I don't smell bad. Like I don't smell. And it was this and I had been wearing it for like 10 hours and I was just so impressed. This one's also really great. I've already repurchased this one. It's a little bit more accessible. You have to buy this one on SSA's website or Sephora, but these are the best. Antiperspirant, deodorant, they're the best if you don't want to smell. And if you've got a long day ahead of you where you really need to smell fresh the whole time. Let's go ahead and do tea things because it's kind of body. I know usually I do those after the hair, but you know what, let's just go ahead and do it. So I ran out of my Crest 3D White Stain Eraser. If you're wondering, this is the best whitening toothpaste out there. It's really great if you have like sensitive teeth and you don't want to like put whitening strips on them because typically you deal with sensitivity when you do that. This is great. If you're a big coffee drinker, wine drinker, whatever, and you're like, oh, my teeth are getting a little yellow and I don't like that, try this out. It's super accessible, it's not very expensive, and it doesn't cause any sort of sensitivity. It's really nice. I always buy it in a three pack from Walmart because it's like $6. So I ran out of these Plackers dental picks. I didn't realize, so if you see right here, there's like a little point here. I didn't realize you could fold that out and make it into a pick. That was my bad, and I held it against it for a while, and then I realized you could do that, and I was like, these are actually pretty good, because they don't, like, you know how, like, when you're flossing your teeth, and there's, like, it feels like almost like a tiny little thread, and it looks like it's starting to fray? These don't do that. I'm actually really impressed with them. I've already repurchased them, because I liked the gum ones, too, but I also like these, and these are just a little bit less expensive. So, I also ran out of the Equate Anti-Cavity Mouthwash. This is the purple one with fluoride. This is what my dentist has recommended to me, and so I use it. I also use, what is it, the gum something. It's a blue one in the morning, this one I use at night. And it is so, so good at just kind of keeping your teeth clean and healthy. And I highly recommend getting the Equate because it's much cheaper than the Listerine. And then, why don't we go ahead and do this? The Amazon All Day Allergy Medicine. What does this look like? Zyrtec. Yes, it is. It has 365 tablets, so you take one a day for a year and it's like $15. It's so much cheaper than the name brand and it works just as well. I take these every single day. If you want to take Zyrtec every day to kind of help your allergies, I would go with this brand because it's so much less expensive and you can get one with exactly a year's worth. Let's get moving. I have some hair stuff. First, the Kenra blow dry spray is the absolute best. I've talked about it for years. I've been using it for years. It is great if you want to blow dry your hair. I love it. I just spray it all over and go from there. And it is a great job of protecting. It is just so, so good. It smells good. It makes your hair look a little oily, but that's actually like helping the smoothness effect. So I love this stuff. I ran out of an all soft mega. Say it with me. It's been discontinued. I'm upset. The mega curls is the like replacement for it. I haven't tried it myself, but I've heard that it is not as good as this. So I'm a little weary to try it, but I have tried the Matrix. Uh, what is it? Free for soft. All for soft? Something for soft. I'll put a picture on the screen that was recommended by somebody in the empties video before the last one. I ended up trying it, featured it in the empties video last time, and I love it. It's the closest to this, so I will be using that after I run out of all my backups of this, but I still admit that I'm bitter and sad that this has been discontinued. However, the Redken Extreme Shampoo has not been discontinued, knock on wood. I'm grateful for that because this is my protein shampoo and conditioner line. I love it. It's so good at like keeping your hair strong and it smells like fruity pebbles. I mean, this is the best. If you have like bleach damage or you, you, you've used Olaplex, Olaplex, why did I say it like that? Olaplex and you're like, this is a little too much. Try this. I guarantee that you'll have great results. I'm not a hairdresser, so my guarantee doesn't hold much value. But I can just say as somebody who had fried hair and it's now like growing and I, I do put some bleach in it occasionally, uh, this has been a lifesaver. It really has. So the texture spray I love so much is the Redken Dry Texture Spray. This is the best. I use it after I style my hair over a hairspray. I'm not a big hairspray person. They're a little sticky for me. This is great though. I talked about it in my favorites of 2023. I will say I don't know how this would work on fine hair because I don't have fine hair. I've got coarser hair that's thick and there's a lot going on. This works great for me because I do already have texture that's underneath, but I have seen, I talked about this in my favorites of 2023 video. I saw a majorette talking about it. She uses this on her game day hair. That's more of a testament of how well this works than my everyday life, but I love it. I put it on after I style and I'm, I have it in today and it, it just kind of adds a little grit without like being sticky or gross feeling. 
and it really is nice plus the bottle is pretty aesthetic <laughs> that matters. All right, so I feel like I'm taking forever, so let's continue. I'm almost to candles, but we have so many of them to cover. Let's do laundry first, though. I've got these two detergents, the Tide Free and Gentle, and the All Free and Clear. Oh my god, you scared me. I didn't know what your nose was. He was smelling my elbow, and I was like, something is touching me. You're so quiet. I didn't even hear you come. So now he's just moving my hand. I love you. Kisses? I ran out of these. These I kind of have been toggling into pods because I feel like you use less detergent that way and it's been leading me to use less of the regular detergent. I've been saving so much money because I'm not using as much detergent as I was and I am not too ashamed to admit that I definitely was using way too much before and it was costing me money because detergent is not cheap. I ran out of the odor blasters from Arm & Hammer. This is my fragrance beads I like to use on like clothing. It smells so good. This is Fresh Burst. I love these. I do have another one I'm using right now that I really like as well, but these are the ones that I continue to go back to because they're the cheapest and you don't have to use as much as like the ones that are like small balls <laughs> because uh, these are like more of a salt, like a Himalayan salt texture is the best way I could describe it. And you don't need as many. They pack a punch and they also, you know, they're smaller so you don't have to use as many. There's more in here. It's great. I love them. All right, so we are finally to the candles and we have a lot to cover so let's go ahead and get going so first let's do the yellow hammer creme brulee this is our kitchen scent this is thomas's favorite candle he's really a sweet candle kind of guy i'm like a spa candle kind of girl like if i were to pick i'd pick spa but this is a great kitchen candle it smells so good i'm about to repurchase more because i'm like we are officially out and we need it i love this candle it is definitely my favorite like sweet smell that i continue to repurchase it's not like a limited edition you know it's always around all right let's go ahead and discuss the autumn scents i have here candy corn and pumpkin cheesecake these are from 2022's collection i bought them then use them up in fall of 2023 and I love them. Uh, I, I will repurchase them. These are like their limited edition ones because they're very specific to the season. And they do smell so, so good. The pumpkin cheesecake is one that I almost wish had a different name and it was available year round because it's very close uh, to like the creme brulee and how I like it. It smells really, really good. And I love it. The candy corn is actually so pleasant. It doesn't smell much like candy corn to me, but it smells, it smells like pastry happiness. I don't know. It smells so good. I love these and I'll be repurchasing them in the fall. Let's go ahead and do Bailey B candles. So she's the one who I love. I love her stuff so much. I actually heard about her through her collab with Mikkel Jancy and so I've been buying her candles since. I need to do a repurchase of some of her candles as well as maybe try some more. But this is Autumn Haze over here and we've got Toasted Ghosts. Obviously these are Autumn candles. I hope she releases them again this year because they smell so good. I think if I had to choose, I'd choose Toasted Ghost between the two. It just smells like the outside in the best way. I love her candles. I love the components she puts them in. I feel like they're so cute. She does them like seasonally and then her regular ones are like clear like this. Same component but clear. They're so great. I love these candles. Great scent throw. And I did run out of a Summit 97. This is the collab she had with Mikkel Jancy. First of all, this component matches my interior of my house so wonderfully. I have three backups of these that I hold on to for dear life because I'm like, I don't want to use them yet. I kind of do it. I kind of don't because like I don't want to run out because it was a limited launch. But this is what got me into her candles. I will continue to buy all of her stuff. I can't say enough good things about her. She's locally owned in, I think it's North Carolina. I think it's Boone. Is it Boone, North Carolina that she's locally owned in? Anyway, if you're near that area, check out her stuff. I promise you won't be disappointed. The scent are great. The scents are great. I haven't found a scent that I've disliked at all from her. Oh, this is also a Bailey B candle. I almost forgot about this one. I am going to dig out the like remaining wax because this is a little pumpkin and this will be perfect to hold tea lights so i am going to actually do the work on this one because it is too cute not to so i'm not going to throw this away i'm going to like set it aside what was this like i don't remember the scent it was like golden harvest or something it smells like a pumpkin dream i love the smell of pumpkin candles hate the taste of pumpkin it's a weird thing but i definitely will be keeping the component of this once again a great scent throw and it was free with purchase of the two autumn candles. So some other candles that I ran out of 
are the ones I got in Vermont. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out. But they are from Hemlock Park. This is Pumpkin Cream and this is Foxtail Fur. This is an autumn candle, obviously, and this is a winter candle. I ran through these relatively quickly because they're so tiny, but so cute. And man, do they pack a punch. They're coconut wax candles, which is great. I don't usually like to get candles that have paraffin wax or anything. I usually get like beeswax, which is what Bailey Bee is, soy, which is what Yellow Hammer is, and then coconut wax is also good. I know that my friend Melissa has told me a billion times what the best, best candle wax is because she's made candles before. I miss that. But anyway, um, I don't remember what she said it was though, and I've asked her so many times. I promise I listen to you. I just, for some reason, have you ever had something where you just can't remember what somebody says even though that you asked them and they told you like a billion times? That's this. But anyway, these were great. Um, I just got them from a local shop. I don't even know if you could like buy them like online. If you could, I would recommend it though because they are so, so fragrant, but not nauseating, just fragrant where you can smell them all over the house, even considering how small they are. All right, so I ran out of Christmas candles finally. The first one I ran out of is like a four-year-old candle. It's this Yankee candle. This is silver birch. This is the last of like the paraffin wax candles. I just burned through it this year. Uh, next year I'll be buying probably from another candle company I have here, but um, this one it smells really good Like I said, I tend not to burn paraffin wax not great for you So I like the smell of it, but I wouldn't buy it again Also ignore the fact that I obviously did not cut the wick enough Then we have this one. This is actually one I won in Dirty Santa during our Christmas party in 2022 This is a Bridgewater Candle Company. I believe this is a discontinued cup discontinued candle company this one uh it looks like i didn't burn it but i promise i burned it all the way like the wicks just stopped burning they're so short so i did burn this as much as i could this smells like your classic christmas candle so cozy it smells so so good i do really like it obviously i can't really say like go out and buy it because you can't get it anymore if it's discontinued but it smells really good this is actually one i got from a tj maxx this is their sugar house cookie by milk house candle co and it's all soy wax certified paraben free so i think this is such a cute little component i love it this one did not smell like i thought it was going to based on how it smells when you open the lids when i opened it at tj maxx it smelled exactly like a sugar cookie when i burned it it smelled like a cake i don't know but not like a cake and like a that smells good it just was like this is kind of a bland candle so i'm, I'm wondering if maybe that's why i was at tj maxx like i'm not hating on this company but I'm wondering if maybe it just didn't settle right because I've heard maybe sometimes if you blend the wax, it does it can't it sometimes may not settle the right way and it won't smell the exact same as you think it would or as it does when it's not burning. I don't know. It was okay. I don't know if I had to repurchase it though. All right, we made it to the end. So the last candle that I have here is the Jingle Al A L like the state of Alabama. The way. This is from the brand Golden Bell Candle Company. This is a local candle company based out of Leeds, Alabama. I need to buy some more. It had a lid, by the way. I need to buy some more candles from this company because I love this so much. Fur, holly, mistletoe, and ivy are the notes, and I smell all of those. It smells so good. So what I love about this company is it's super clean because the person who founded this, it was founded in 2021, she found out she had breast cancer and was like, when she found out that diagnosis, she started looking into all of her candles to see like the toxic chemicals and decided that she didn't want to give up candles because she liked them so much, but wanted to make them clean. So that's what she did. And the scent throw is amazing. She also has her dogs on it. Um, but in this, because it's a Christmas candle, they have hats. Is that not the cutest thing? But her dogs are on all the candle components just without hats. So I definitely want to get some more of her candles. I've already like added candles to my carts from each of these companies, Bailey B, Yellow Hammer, and Golden Bell. Uh, but I, I will admit there are too many and it's too much money. So I need to weed out some <laughs> because candles can add up. But anyway, that is it. I've finally made my way to the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this empty video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell down below, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, make sure you check out the rest of my channel if you haven't, and see if you like what I put out there. I do beauty, I do lifestyle, we do a lot of empties, we do shop my stashes, and we try some makeup out, we do vlogs, we, we do a bunch of different things over here, and I'd love to have you join the family if you if you like what you see, if you like what I put out there, I'd love to have you stick around long term. But anyway, this video has been long enough, so I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys have the best rest of your day, though, and I will see you guys in the next video.